Welcome to Statistics in Excel video number 25. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, go to my college website link and download the workbook Business 210 Chapter 2. Hey, in our last video we did frequency distributions with pivot tables and we saw how amazing it is. We also saw you got to be careful if the source data is integer or if it's decimal, you have to do something dramatically different for your labels. Now, we want to create um, percentage of column. So it, we want to create a percent frequency distribution and a relative frequency distribution. But first, let's add some formatting. I'm going to click somewhere in my pivot table. And under design, there's pivot table styles. And you can click the drop down and pick whichever one you want. I'll pick one like this maybe, a nice simple one. There we go. And then I'll click here and go up to the same one. Let's see if I can find the same one again. There it is. Now, um, our pivot tables will do a um, percentage frequency distribution for our sales. Remember, percentage frequency distributions are good for when you're writing reports or articles and you're talking about percents. Uh, and then we'll do a relative frequency distribution, which is proportions, which are good for you know cal calculating and things like that. But we've already built our tables and grouped it. I don't want to have to do it all again. So can we just highlight this table right here? and control C and remember it's a pivot table and then click right down here and control V oh yes we can I love that and then we'll simply uh, change the uh, uh, function here or the um, the cal the value feature I'm gonna blow this up a little bit so we have we want to create a percentage distribution and we want to compare 104 to 200 and 43 to 200 so we get a percentage here so in the value area right click and point to value field settings we actually saw this in earlier videos also value field settings and there's functions and there's format but we want to go to show value as and there's a very simple feature percent of column and that's what we mean when we say to 104 divided by the 243 divided by 200. Now, this is a percent frequency distribution. When you do percent of column, by default, it automatically puts a percentage format, so it'll work out fine. Click OK. And there you go. 52% of the total sales were in the 10 up to $60 range. Less than 1%, a half of 1% uh, were in the 260 up to $310 range. So percentages of uh, percent frequency distribution. And let's actually click here and, and title this. Percent frequency. We'll just uh, do percent frequency. Actually, let's click in this cell right here and right click format cells. Or we can use the keyboard shortcut control one. And in alignment, I'm going to say wrap text. Also in the home ribbon, they brought this feature right out there. There it is in the home ribbon in the alignment group. All right, uh, let's go ahead and do a relative frequency distribution for our ages. You mean we can just highlight the table and copy it? This is a pivot table, right? And then click here and control V. You betcha. And then let's right click here and change this to percent of column. Right click, value field settings. Back here, we'll say, uh, instead of normal, we'll say percent of column. Now, this is, we can actually uh, name this right up here, too. We, we've been naming it, just clicking in the cell, but you can also click right here. Value field settings allow you to change the function, change the uh, calculation, change the name. We'll change it. Relative frequency, and it allows us to change the number format. Click on number format, and since this is relative, remember, oh, you can see the percentage right there. But relative frequency, we don't want the percentage format. So I'm going to click on General. Then click OK. And then click OK. And sure enough, there we have it. 0.255 uh, is the decimal, the relative frequency for the 15 up to 24 group. And the 25 up to and including 34 group is 0.26, so over 50% for these are or point over 0.5 so that's the relative frequency don't forget relative frequency is a synonym for proportion or probability all right uh, one last thing here we do want to create a histogram 
and I'm going to base it on uh, this one right here. Earlier video, we did it uh, with the uh, categories and the count, but the same exact shape will come out if you do it with the percentages. So let's do that here. And I'm going to highlight. Um, there's a couple ways to do pivot charts. I'm going to highlight this right here. We'll do it the uh, the old, old the regular chart way. I have my uh, labels here, and labels always come in the first column for charts, and then the numbers that are go along the vertical axis here in the labels. Go up to Insert Charts, and we want a column chart, and we're going to pick the first one here. Notice it, um, it comes up with a pivot chart filter pane. We don't need to uh, use this right here, so let's close it. And we got to do uh, a few things to make this a histogram. What's the first thing? What's the obvious thing? Histograms cannot have spaces because you have to indicate visually that this whole class, the edge of it comes up against this class. So that's why you have to click on the columns, Control-1. Control-1 brings up in cells, it's format cells. In charts, it's uh, the chart elements. And we want to say GAT with there. Now I want to go to Fill. And look at this. I want to say Vary Colors by Point. Ooh, that'll be cool. You can already see what it's doing there. And then I want to click Border Color. And I want to say Solid Line. And click the drop down there. And let's click Black, and a nice black, dark black. Click Close. All right, that's already looking better. Right click the columns, make sure that they're all highlighted. And let's say uh, Add Data Labels. You can hardly see that down there. So I'm going to right click Add Data Labels. Boop. And sure enough, at the top, oh, those are the percentages. We don't need this right here because we have our labels down here. So click on that. And what's the keyboard shortcut for Delete? Yeah, Delete. Uh, we have our. Um, labels here, but let's be a proper and label this sales in dollars. So we have to go up to layout, labels, axis uh, titles, and we're going to say horizontal and title below. Now a great trick uh, for labels is once you have the label highlighted, hit F2. Notice that the cursor jumps up to the formula bar and then type equals. And we want to see if we can that didn't work. Click back up uh, here again. Hit F2, and then type the equal sign. So the equal sign, and I want to click. Um, oh, that's the chart title. I want. I was trying to get the. I clicked on the wrong one. Oh, here. Let's try this again. Oh, look at that yucky, ugly stuff there. Click F2 and get rid of all that. I'm going to hit delete. And then equals. And now, since this wants to be the sales, we want that label, we can link it right to here. So click on that cell right there and then enter. That's linked. If you were to change that up there, it would it would update. Now let's go back to layout. Let's see if I can get this right this time. Labels, access, and we want vertical. And I'm going to say rotated. Immediately when it's highlighted, hit F2. That sends the cursor up to the formula bar. Type equals. And I'm going to scroll up and type percent frequency. Oh, and then enter. Oh, that is so cool. Now this total one, let's um, click in here. I'm going to control A to highlight everything and just type this one out. A uh, histogram of boomerang sales from sample of 200 and then enter and then enter. So there's our histogram. We have our labels. We um, have we, we changed our labels in the uh, pivot table using the replace feature. So our labels are linked up to there. We have the nice colors. We have the numbers at the top. And we can see that this has a um, skew in which direction? We talked about that in the last video. This one's to the right. It means there's a couple really big values pulling the average up, but most of the values are um, in a much lower uh, category or class here. All right, that's a little bit about the histogram, the percent 
uh, pivot tables with the percent of column to create our percent frequency distribution, our relative frequency distribution based on the age, and a little bit of formatting. All right, we will see you next video.